Um, we actually have a student leadership team here. Um, our ILT has been in place for the, for the staff for a while now. So last year we started a student leadership team. And that was one of the things, Gabrielle's not on it, but the student leaders had said that they felt like there was all that kind of build up to the MCAS and the weeks leading up to it, where you're doing so much prep and um, you know just preparing for it, that it leads to that like undue anxiety that some of the kids have and even the teachers have. So one of the things that we really made a focus for this year was we said we were going to start earlier and we were going to make it part of our regular routine instruction. So that's kind of another thing when um, when I said we spoke about how could we do this? And I said, I wanted to try it. We wanted to start it earlier in the year. So that it just became kind of natural. Um, and I think that when the students had a voice and said that, I think it was eye opening that it was said last year by other students. And now they're reiterating it this year. It really let us know that by breaking down the process and starting it earlier, we were setting them up for a success that we were gonna see come MCAS day. And it's so funny too, because part of the process that I, we didn't really talk about this, um, they didn't just go back and rewrite their MCAS. What we've been doing a ton in fifth grade is having the students present their work. So they have to get up after they're done writing every single prompt this year, and they present in front of their peers because they know that that's what something's gonna be expected in middle school and high school. and after you present in front of your peers, what happens next? So after we present in front of our classmates, we get, they give us constructive feedback. So how it works in our classroom is we say something great about the story or essay something that you loved in maybe an area of opportunity. And then we wrap it up with something good. And Mrs. Keene always says you can take it or leave it. So some sometimes we, um, want to take the feedback and use it to make a better story. Or sometimes maybe we don't agree with the feedback, but I think it's actually great for me because I didn't love criticism. And I think it's great to get not only from your friends, but from, from different people feedback. Um, so some advice that I would give to other students is that um, when we're in our classroom and like say if we were given feedback, we know that it's not like something personal that we have to take. It's just something that might help us make a really good like story or essay. So I'd say that maybe to some other kids or students that so sometimes like you might get pushed, but it's okay to like back down and say, you know, I'm not ready yet, but you still you will want to push yourself to try and become the best student that you could be. I also think it's useful that later in life, you're gonna be have to giving feedback, you're gonna have to present in front of people. So it's kind of a life skill that you're gonna need to have. And for other students, if you're afraid, fears, you're just using an excuse to not do it. So I think you should try it and you should try to be the best student that you can because when you're giving feedback or even presenting, it's gonna help you later in life and it's gonna it's gonna show that you're a great student and that you know how to give feedback, you know how to present and all different things like that. And to add on, it might seem like with this whole feedback thing, it's really good for you to open your eyes and see other people's point of views because you might be seeing your writing perfect the best it, the best it can be from your point of view but maybe someone else might notice something that you don't, something you can improve on. And it's really helpful. It can help you grow later in life to see that you're gonna have to see things from other people's point of views. And this is a really good way to start. And I think it's, it's so really bad. helpful. So we have a great, somebody the other day called it a classroom family. We're supportive of each other. We help each other. Just this morning, um, somebody who two people who weren't friends were helping each other out and they were pushing each other to be their greatest and they they just met like this year so i think it's really important that we have a great classroom environment and that we know that your peers are going to be there for you <laughs>